Haynes 90 knock helps pairs to 300. Worcestershire are still hunting their first win of the season after a chasing defeat at Trent Bridge last time out. Their visitors Derbyshire are keeping them off the bottom of the table, their record identical but having played one game fewer. The hosts won the toss and strode out to the middle to get their innings up and running, but were on the back foot immediately. Connors looked good early, Mitchell out for a golden duck. They could have had another had Duploy held on to the tough chance off Libby's edge, but it wouldn't be too long before Derbyshire had their second wicket. Connors in a groove and Fell caught behind. Libby and Haynes managed to find some solid footing and ticked the score along. The pair took the total to 50 as the pairs enjoyed some stability. They were into the 60s when their running let them down, an opportunity offered and taken. Libby's promising start brought to an end via a direct hit. Haynes and Whiteley rebuilt and started to play their way towards three figures. The former found his way into the 40s as they approached lunch. They'd get there unbeaten with the score 98 for three, an even session so far. The score was into triple figures shortly after play got back underway. Durham had another wicket a few overs into the afternoon session. Whiteley out caught by Madsen off the bowling of Melton. But Haynes remained, and with a back foot punch, he played his way to 50. The mark reached off 100 balls. His good work helped the pairs pass 150, he and Dolivera proving to be a fruitful pairing. It was a solid showing from the Worcestershire partnership, and before long they'd added 50 for the fifth wicket. That batting took them to 200 runs, and soon after, another single from Dolivera in a session bereft of many boundaries had him on 50. Two milestone knocks for the two set batsmen. They'd find their way to T full of confidence, the score 214 for 4. The value of the partnership was at 100 at the resumption, but could Haynes match it with a century contribution all of his own? He was denied, out on 97, caught by Melton off the bowling of Critchley as he looked for the boundary that would get him to the mark. Dolivera had hoped to drag his side past 250, but he'd be unable to do so. His innings ended on 71 when he popped a catch straight up in the air off Hudson Prentice. Cox and Barnard breached 250, but they were fresh to the crease and needed to find their feet. And they did ever so well. The pair were a solid and fruitful partnership and piled on the runs and ticked the milestones off. With one shot, their partnership was worth 50 runs and the pairs moved to 300. Both men looked good for 50s and by the time the day was wearing towards a close, they were both in the 40s. They'd be unable to stay together through to the culmination of day one. Cox out to Aitchison for 49. The last of the action. The day was brought to a close with the fall of his wicket. The score 336 for 7.